Okay, we're gonna move on with the build. And we're gonna be doing the, let's see, this would be the starboard side nacelle. You can see these are the parts pieces. Uh, they look pretty good. We're gonna have to clean them up just a bit. And we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do to run the wires through just a little bit. We're gonna make them a little bit, um, open them up a little bit. We put the grills in. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take the grills out because what I want to do is we're going to put some primer, some black primer to help light block. And then when that's dry on the inside, I want to put the reflective paint. That way there we can, uh, we can put a light strip in there and we can light up the different pieces. And of course we need to uh, concentrate on the areas where we're going to have the strobes as the Enterprise has the strobe lights on top and the back of the nacelles. And they have the lights also on top. And let me show you, this is one of the extra pieces we're going to be using for the Bassard collectors. And you can see they have the opening all set. And they actually have the blue dome that we're going to put on top. Because it was either that or I was thinking of running a blue light and having the blue light come out just a bit. But we'll see how it looks when we put the lights in. Again, because we're going to have to run. Let's see. Let me show you guys my plan. So we've got the light at the top of the nacelle. I'd like to put a light in the back where the fin is, as she appears on screen right about there, illuminating the registry numbers. Um, when it comes to lighting the cells, that'll be on the secondary hull. But for the top, there are also a couple of lights that come out, the Bassard collectors. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that on this model. Yeah, that might be more easily done on the 1350 scale that we're working on, but maybe not on this. So we might not be able to do the lights that are coming out the bottom that, um, in that section. Um, there's a possibility that we could actually let me remove this and show you guys what I'm talking about. So there's an area over here where there will be two lights and one would shine down on the ship in the back of the saucer section and I think the other one would go down but um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that because there's just not enough room on this one. Let me show you how this is going to fit in. This is going to go like this. And it fits in like a glove. So the lighting would come at the bottom. There would be more, more room on the bottom. So we're not going to be able to do that on the 1537. Um, but we will do that on 1350. Actually, I got that right here show you guys a comparison We're working you can see the difference between the 1350 and the 1537 you guys can tell what I'm talking about We're right over there but we don't just we just don't have enough room to do it on the 1537 but still it'll look pretty good even with that not lit so like I said what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna prime everything right right now we're gonna do it in black paint And then when it's all done in black paint, I'm going to put the, uh, the reflective paint on it just to help bounce the light around on the inside. And then once that's done, we can come up with um, what we're going to do for wiring. Because I was thinking about putting a, a light strip in the bottom. A couple things we could do. You can see how the bottom is. We can put a light strip in there all the way down. And then we can just have the light strip coming out the top and lighting up the side nacelle, the uh, chiller grill. We're going to still run a wire for the um, strobe that's going to go with the back. But either way, we're going to have to run four wires through the nacelle pylon. Because we're going to have, remember, we're going to have the two from the strobe that have to go down to the circuit board. And then we're going to have 
two that are going to power the unit. And unfortunately, we can't use the feed coming from that because it's a strobe, and this will keep strobing. So we have to have this big enough where we're going to have four wires running through here. So we're going to have to get some small wire to accommodate this. You can see how it's going to go. a little bit better. You can see how how tiny we're gonna have the wires. So I'm gonna see if I can get some more wires because I've been using these. And these are gonna be too large. Way too large. But alright. Why don't we go ahead and we're going to start painting all the parts. Okay, so I gave it the first coat and I'm using the Rust-Oleum. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to flip it over and we'll give a quick spray on the inside. Not a lot, just enough to, to light up. dry. When that's dry, you can actually give a coat of the um, reflective coat on the inside and then it'll be ready for the uh, finish coat. Okay, so you can see, had some time to dry. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do the inside and what we're going to do is we're going to be using the metallic finish and that's actually going to create a reflective surface. Not a lot, just enough so that you can bounce the light around on the inside. And when this is all set, we'll be able to uh, think about the finished coat. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to start to paint the finish coat on the outside. And I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum, the 2X coverage, kind of like we did for the black. Alright, so looking at the paint job, the paint had some time to dry, and I think we're only gonna put one coat on the nacelle, looking pretty good. I love the Rust-Oleum, it's got that nice, smooth coat. And when it comes to the nacelles themselves, um, we had put the black primer on both sides. Then on the inside, I put the mirror finish to reflect the light and finally we put the finish coat on the uh, the outside so you can see it's nice and smooth so it's looking pretty good i think the um i was wondering if we were going to need to put two coats on but i think this is going to do nicely so the only thing we're going to do is we'll use some putty we'll close the seam off after everything is done and we're ready to close it up. But I think what we need to do now is these are all set. These are ready to go. We need to start to think about the inserts that are going to go on the inside. 
And we have three things that we're going to need to paint. First, we're going to be doing the Bassard Collector. So let me throw this back together real quick. And you can see just how it's going to go. And again, this is just throwing it in loosely. But actually, it fits pretty good. So we're going to paint the Bassard Collector. So that's going to fit nicely, and you can see the opening where we're going to have a blue light on top. The second thing we're going to need to do is this is going to go on the, the outer part of the nacelle. And you just kind of loosely put it on because this has to be painted black. It's going to go like this. and then we'll fill it in once it's ready to be glued into place. And lastly, we're gonna to need to do this insert. And this is gonna go on this side, on the inner part. This is the inner chiller grill. And I just wanna put it in loosely, just to show you guys how it's gonna look. And when we're done, what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, when we glue it into place, we're going to fill it in. And then we'll be ready to go. But, like I said, those are the last things that we need to actually paint. So we've got to do the inserts. We have to do the Bassard Collector. And we need to do the Outer Chiller Grill. When it comes to the um, the nacelle pylon, it's looking pretty good. Um, I think what I'm going to do is we'll paint the black on the inner part, so when it closes up, you can see those three different sections and the one section in the back. Um, but let's take a look at the decals and see if we need to paint the the details on. So I don't remember offhand because we could paint the detail and the triangles on the, the nacelle pylons, but if the decals have it in place, I don't know if we can cut it out or if we can just end up doing it with the, uh, we can trim it out and use the painted part, but this is the hull markings and we're going to need the starboard side nacelle. So we've got the starboard nacelle and you can see the, uh, the area is not filled in. So that's a good thing. So we're going to paint these triangles or these vents that are on the uh, sides. So, but we'll do that a little bit later. We'll do that when we start to bring everything together and we work on it. Because we also have to modify the nacelle pylon because um, we have to have the, the, we don't have a lot of room for the wires to run. And I'm going to be using very, very small, um, I think this is 30 gauge wire. And we're going to need to run a power supply up through the, the nacelle pylon, and we're going to have to run another pair of lines for the, uh, the strobe that's going to go on the back over there. And we we'll use the very, very, very thin wire. So, okay, we'll do that, and that's going to be when we move on. So right now, why don't we get started, and we're going to start doing the painting. So when it comes to this, you can see there are raised lines.
up here and there but I think that looks pretty good so now remember this isn't a marker this is a this is a magic marker this is actually paint it's just a lot easier to use the paint gun uh, excuse me the paint marker now, let me show you guys it's looking pretty good And if it needs another coat, what we'll do is after we glue it into place um, and it needs another coat, I'll put another coat on. Okay, so that's done. So what we need to do now is we need to paint the Bassard Collector. And I'm going to put it on a little stick. Let's see, where is my little painting stick? Here it is. And let's see if we're going to need to put new tape on or, yeah, this tape's pretty much gone. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to put some duct tape on. And just like that, we're ready to go. All I did was take some newspaper, roll it up, and put a duct tape on it to keep it closed. And we have a little painting stick. And this is going to be white, and then we'll just paint the black in for the Bassard Collectors as we go. And we're going to be using the Rust-Oleum. When it comes to this section, um, we're going to be doing the black with the same thing. The Rust-Oleum, so let's go do that now. See, we used the white, and this is going to paint up nicely. If we need to put another coat on this, we'll put another coat, but I don't think so. It's going to look pretty good when we put the black on, and then I'll be ready to bring everything together. So what I like to do is we'll put it in the pliers just to keep it from falling over. So we got that done. And we used the black on the inner chiller grill, or the outer chiller grill, excuse me. And we got the inner chiller grill all set. So don't look now, but we're ready to move on. And in the next video, we're gonna bring everything together. 